Okay, now let's move forward. Now another important and very uh, most uh, very mostly used layout that we have in Android is the list view layout. So a list view is a view group that displays a list of scrollable items. The list items are automatically inserted to the list using an adapter as adapter is similar in terms of list view also which I had just showed you with the help of grid view. So let's take a look at an example of a list view. Here you can see here what I have I have on the left is the linear layout under the linear layout I have placed a list view and here in the list view I have just shown this displayed various arrays array items that I have in the list view. So let's take an example of a list view so I, I what I can do is I can just use the same example that I have used and make the changes uh, just tell me if uh, you want me to create a new op example or I, uh, I can like make the changes here also because I think the conceptual implementation of the list view and the grid view is similar so I think I can use the same example if any person uh, wants me to create a new one they can just write on the chat window so I'll create a new one Abhijit is asking me for a new one so I'll create a new one here okay Abhijit I'll just close this one I'll just close this project here I'll go to new I'll go to new Android project and I'll say list view sample and then I create this project in the workspace click on next choose Android 2.3 as the package give it a package name com say dot ds dot edireka and I think I'm done with this so I have created a new project here let us let this project just get built up so I think it's done now now let's quickly go to the main here in the main I have a text view I don't need this text view now I'll just delete this up I'll create a list view here give it an ID here I say at the rate plus ID slash list view give it a height and width attribute here say layout height I say wrap I, I give it a full layout so I'll use the fill parent here I'll give it a full height then I also give it a width attribute so I'll use the width attribute here and I say fill parent so this is the list view implementation that I had to do in the main.xml now let's just quickly create a reference of the list view here I say private, I say list view, I say list view here and I say I just reference it from the XML here, I say list view here, now I just need to reference this list view from the XML here, I create a casting here after the casting I just find the view by ID and I say r dot id dot list view once I'm done with this I need to have the array adapter to it so I just use the same array adapter this uh, example that I've shown you here I'll just pick it up the cities strings here so I'll just use this particular string here I just do a control V here so I'm just displaying all the cities that I had shown in the grid view in the form of a list view so I'm good to go with the cities here now I also need an adapter here so I create an array adapter here array adapter for the value strings here give it a name adapter create a new array adapter context is again the activity context here 
So I'll use at this resource. I'll use the same Android wallet resource Android resource here. I'll use Android dot R dot layout dot simplest item one and I also pass in the add array the complete array of cities to it. So I'll use the cities here and I'm the adapter settings for it. Now after the adapter settings I also need to set this adapter to the list view as I had done with the grid view. I say set adapter and then the name of the adapter that I have just created here which is already present in the method here and then I also need to have the on item click listener for it on item click listener I create a new on item click listener here it asks me after the import it will ask me for the overriding of the unimplemented methods which I do so and then I'll be using the again the same toast that I had used I say toast dot make text the context is the list view sample context and then the text that I want to display is also also passed in from the ARG2 here so I'll use the here in the cities I'll just use this and I'll just take the value of the position here so I'll just pass this as the value and duration I can say toast dot short length short and then what I can do is I can just make this toast to appear which I do show, do by the show method here. So, so very similarly uh, similar to the grid view I have just created a list view sample here go to run as go to run as Android application here and it is opening up new simulator I guess I might have closed the last simulator that I had opened up so let it just open up because I had created the project in 2.3.3 and the last simulator that was open to me was for 2.2 so it has automatically launched the one which actually conf is configured for 2.3.3 so this is the reason why it has started taking up this simulator so Harpreet has asked me a question here argument 2 and argument 3 returns same value but is any difference between them here uh, uh, Harpreet you can see here in the argument 2 we are passing an int value while in the argument 3 we are actually getting a uh, long value so this is the difference between these two because these are the various parameters that are passed in and it, it is something to do with the on item click listener so this is the interface which we have used so this is the actual method signature that it provides us with I hope this is clear to you Harpreet Uh, another difference is that uh, Harpreet what we have is here you can see the argument is int so this int argument actually gives you the position of the item in the array while the ARG3 here or the long argument gives you the ID or say the ID of the view that you have clicked on is this clear to you now all right now let's quickly see the example that we have here so this is the new simulator that I had created and here you can see the list view sample here wherein I have the various items which I had the various cities which are shown off to me so if I click on Chicago 
I see the text here at the bottom which says clicked on Chicago. If I say click on Hartford, it gives me the selected output as Hartford. So this is all coming up from the use of the post message that I have used. So is this clear everyone now? How, how we use the list view in Android? So I have a poll question coming up for all of you here. So the poll question that I have raised for all of you is to show items in the list view, what can I use? Can I use a cursor? Can I use an array adapter? Can I use a buffered reader or can, should I use the string buffer? So you can cast your votes on the screen here. You can all just click on any option which you find is the correct answer to it and then your cast uh, your votes will automatically be cast here I have a question from Mohit Dixit here sir here Android orientation is vertical is it default or you make it so no I have just made it here as you can see I have just made it vertical here. So if I remove this and I try to run this example, let's see what happens now. Because the list view is, uh, because the parent of the item was vertical, but the list view always arranges this items, you know, in a vertical manner. So I don't think it makes any difference to the list view because list view is an independent component from the linear layout. I'll, I'll okay okay I got it the poll question is on view all right I'll just do it again for you all that's not something that's not a problem okay so majority of you have correctly answered it it's the array adapter that is used uh, in in this particular case it is the array adapter that we always use when we try to show items in a list view majority of you have got it voted correctly that's so this is the Question. So what? Okay. Now let's back to get back to Mohit's question here. Mohit was asking me since we have set the orientation to vertical, why does the list uh, say how will the list view reflect this value? Because it is automatically by default the linear layout is set to be in a horizontal orientation. So if I clear this out, I just delete this up. Let's see if there is any change on the list view. Because this list view is another view group which has got its own view group. All right, so it, I I just feel it should be independent from the yeah. What here you can see list view is an independent view group from the linear because they are coming after the other. This is. You can just try it on on the ad window. If uh, I think I have made this clear that if even if I don't provide it and the takes the station as horizontal, it won't be affecting the list view. But any second item, say if I have uh, created list view here, all right, and if I try to add up any second item after it, so it will automatically fall under the horizontal orientation. Uh, Harpreet is asking me a question here. Can we add items to the list through resource XML file? Uh, Harpreet, I don't think so. We can do that because we need to have an array adapter to it. Because whenever we'll be pumping data onto the list view, we always need an adapter for it. And it is also not the recommended way because in this particular case, what we'll, you'll be doing is you'll be hard coding these strings onto the XML, which is not the right option or not the right approach to do it. I also wanted to inform all the students here, all the attendees here, that we are offering some uh, discounts to all the people who have already, say, if you want to refer someone onto this course, we, have, we are offering some huge discounts onto the course. If you want, you are liking this course and you want more people to get enrolled into this course, you can all avail the 30% discount to your friends. 
uh, if you want to uh, if they want to also join this course uh, so this is how you can actually grow your network and increase the learning capabili capabilities that come along with this course so you can share this course along with your, your peers your friends so that if they are interested in it, into this course we'll be offering them a 30% discount on this course